All right, Ping, uh, we're gonna do that same test from yesterday. The Lambda is unplugged and I have the BTI gauge plugged in right now. So it is plugged into the dash gauge, so we can just watch this one here. Gauge did not turn on. Gauge turned on. Okay, gauge didn't turn on that time. No gauge. Everything is still all plugged in. So here's a few key cycles of no gauge. Hmm. Seems like if I wait a little bit longer, it doesn't doesn't work most of the time. If we go quick, it'll stay on. Give it a couple seconds here. Not turn on when I wait. Wait a little bit longer here. So, came on that time. All right, now I'm gonna quick plug in the Lambda sensor and I'll show you the same same thing, I think. It seems like it's acting about the same as what I normally see. All right, I have the uh, Lambda gauge, sorry, Lambda sensor plugged in now. Here's just a quick shot of the engine bay of the car. You can see we got lambda as well as um, the gauge plugged in now. So <laughs> I 
And we got the gauge turned on. Seems like it acts the same way. It's... Yeah, if I key it right back on, it seems like it comes on right away if I key it right back on after it shuts off. But if I let it sit, it's inconsistent. Yeah, something to do with like a time delay almost. Yeah, it seems like the one I wait, it definitely doesn't want to fire up. But it will randomly work when after it's been sitting too, so it seems like that's uh, definitely where the issue is lying. Interesting. Yeah, so gauge is on. There's our connectors all plugged in. I will post this up and uh, you guys can let me know if you need me to do any other testing for you. Thanks.